Afternoon News. To present it, my name is Bridget Kapopo. A look at the headlines. Leader of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Savoy Mbuela, has advised President Haka Inde Hichilema to consider allowing professionals to handle the current power deficit crisis as opposed to issuing directives. Some residents of Zingalume's Twikatane area in Lusaka province have expressed concern over the poor road network. Four Croatian couples who were arrested in connection to trafficking of four Congolese children and appeared before the Ndola Magistrate Court on 6 January 2023 have pleaded not guilty for the offense of attempted human trafficking. In sport, striker Alex Ngonga is still banned and not eligible to play competitive football within and outside Zambia, football sources have clarified. And those are the headlines. Join me for the details shortly. Now for the news in detail. Leader of the Opposition National Congress, pardon me, National Democratic Congress, Savoy Mboela has advised President Haka Inde Hichilema to consider allowing professionals to handle the current power deficit crisis as opposed to issuing directives. During his visit to Mamba Quelleries and Kariba Dam, President Hichilema directed Zesco to split the 12 hours of blood shedding into six hours. But speaking in an interview with Sun FM News, Ms. Simboela said it is the duty of professionals to guide on what steps should be taken and not the president. She said in most cases it is a problem when politicians override certain decisions that professionals advise against. I think uh, we should hear first of all from the professionals themselves. They have told us about the low water and everything. Can they manage that? So the directive was given. Are they really going to do that? And then number two, is this something that they can manage? So these are the things that uh, we need to be told because if a politician comes in and says do this and they really can't, then they can't be in a bigger problem. If they can do it, I think this course should come out and say they can manage uh, what the president said or not so that we get that professional uh, feedback from them because uh, politicians will be political, they would want a popular thing and everything. People are complaining heavily about, uh, about the sharing. And Patriots for Economic Progress leader Sean Tembo said the president's directive to Zesco to have the 12 hours load shedding split into six hours does not make any significant difference in terms of the hardships that people are going through. Our expectation would have been that uh, the president would have uh, found a way to reduce the road shedding maybe from the 12 hours per day to maybe six or even three hours. I think that would have made a difference. But so far, just splitting the 12 hours into you know six hour sessions and in some areas, the difference between those six hour sessions is just an hour in between. It really doesn't make much of a difference. Some residents of Zingalume's Twikatane area in Lusaka province have expressed concern over the poor road network. The residents said roads in the area are in a deplorable state and become impassable during the rainy season, making it difficult for motorists and residents to move as they are usually flooded. Speaking in an interview with Sun FM News, the residents who sought anonymity have since called on their area member of parliament and civic leader to lobby for funds and work on roads and drainages. When it's raining, there's a pool of water as if it's a river. No one is paying up attention to our problem. Even the MP himself, we don't know. We don't know when we, we saw him. Don't even pass here. Otherwise, our load is impossible. This load is very bad in terms of us motorists. We damage our cars using the same road which goes in Garume to join Mungui Road. <laughs> It carries a lot of water. Otherwise, man, think and you are crossing. It carries a lot of dirty stuff. Road is yeah. Here the Congo and two. Om Zambia and Omo. Kumbi kumbi kakuhi pamoto. Chan road is. Ah, but road is very hard to get on. The road is very hard to get on. Even the onongo. Mamoto kaiyabu yabu tika kupita plus na wantu na manjin. 
Four Croatian couples who were arrested in connection to trafficking of four Congolese children and appeared before the Ndola Magistrate Court on 6 January 2023 have pleaded not guilty for the offense of attempted human trafficking. When the matter came up for plea today, before Ndola Chief Resident Magistrate David Makalicha, the couples pleaded not guilty. The children are aged between one and three years, and the eight individuals were intercepted at Simon Mwansakapwepwe International Airport as they attempted to exit the country on 7 January 2022. The matter was adjourned to today, 10 January 2023, for plea after waiting for a decision on a matter involving a writ of habeas corpus in the High Court before Judge Musonda yesterday. The four Croatian couples who were arrested in a child trafficking case of four Congolese children aged between one and three years and were intercepted at Simon Mwansakapwepo International Airport on December 7, 2022, appeared for mentioned before Ndola Chief Resident Magistrate David Makalicha today. All the eight individuals pleaded not guilty for attempted human trafficking. Arresting of the four Croatian couples happened when police received information that four couples were lodging at a named lodge in Kansenshi with some black children. The Zambia police made plans of intercepting them at Simon Mwansakapwepo International Airport. When questioned, the four couples produced Congolese adoption documents which are believed to be fake. The names of the couples are Dama Majik, aged 44, and his wife Madika Majik, aged 45, Subosit Zoran, aged 52, Azra Imamovic, aged 41, Ladislav Perisic, aged 42, Alexander Perisic, aged 40, Noah Kraujevic, aged 45, and his wife Ivona Kraujevic, aged 36. The eight Croatian couples were later detained at different police stations in Indola until today when they appeared in court for plea and pleaded not guilty. The matter has since been adjourned to 12th January 2023 for commencement of trial. Reporting for Sun FM Radio and TV, I'm Cletus Mtoki in Indola. The Patriotic Front has charged that the United Party for National Development is threatened by the strength of the PF and the numbers it continues to garner despite being in opposition now. Speaking when he met Eastern Province Party officials in Chipata with Acting Secretary General Nixon Chilangwa, PF Acting President Given Lubinda called on members to remain strong amid intimidation from the UPND. Mr. Lubinda said the UPND government knows that it is only the PF that can solve the country's problems, including load shedding. He said the PF has embarked on conducting structure audits to ensure that the party is intact, adding that the PF's chances of bouncing back depends on the strength of structures across the country. We take a short break and when we return, sports news. A new dawn is upon us with great opportunities and a new hope for our future. Have you considered advertising your business on Sun FM TV with our surprisingly affordable rates? When you advertise on Sun FM TV, you'll also get free equivalent radio advertising spots or shout outs on Sun FM Radio. For more details, call us on plus 260-961-205-967 or plus 260-212-615-341. Email marketing at sunfmzambia.net. It's a new dawn of new affordable advertising packages on Zambia's first and finest visual radio, reaching over 5 million people across the whole country. If you're not advertising on SunFM TV, then you're probably not being heard or seen. Come on board and advertise with us. Everyone's not only listening, everyone is watching. Thank you so much for staying with us. The Sun FM Afternoon News continues. In sport, striker Alex Ngonga is still banned and not eligible to play competitive football within and outside Zambia, football sources have clarified. According to reliable sources at Football House, FIFA rules are universal and applicable in any footballing nation. 
Ngonga was banned after tearing his Nkana shirt and kicking Supersport TV's boom microphone in his team's one new home loss to Power Dynamos after being substituted. The Football Association of Zambia FAS Disciplinary Committee banned Nkana Ngonga for the rest of the season for being in breach of Article 48 of the FAS Disciplinary Code. However, social media reports suggest that the 30-year-old hitman is currently training with Congolese giants T.P. Mazembe in Lubumbashi with the view of dodging the ban slapped on him. It has also emerged that Ngonga has featured twice for T.P. Mazembe in friendly matches since he was banned, scoring three times in the process. The situation has sparked a debate with some sympathizers, suggesting that the ban is only applicable to Zambian football. The sources further explained that Ngonga still has a running contract with Nkana. Hence, it is practically impossible to sign a new deal during the January transfer window. According to FIFA transfer statutes, a player can only switch countries to play professional football once he or she is given clearance by the Domestic Football Association through the issuance of the International Transfer Certificate. And that sports story brings us to the end of the Sun FM Afternoon News. On behalf of the entire news crew and my production crew, thank you so much for listening and watching. My name is Bridget Kapopo. Coming up shortly, views on the news. Stay tuned. radio station is responsible for the dawn of a new era in Zambian broadcasting. Capturing your favorite sounds on radio into great moments on television and on social media. Welcome to Zambia's first and finest visual radio, Sun FM TV. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to today's edition of our Views on the News. It is a Tuesday, the 10th of January, 2023. My name is Alan Mwale. And my name is Bridget Kapopo. Lots of our stories are making headlines in the afternoon news and uh, you can give us your views by simply calling us on uh, 0212-617-140. And it is uh, stories that simply made the afternoon news that you're giving us your comment on. 0212-617-140. Right, uh, you can also try and call us on 0769-122-851. That's a 0769-122-851 if you can get through to 0212-617-140. Wow. Let's take a short break and uh, we'll be right back uh, with our views on the news right here on Sun FM TV. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we continue to grow. Watch what you hear. Radio Gone TV. Sun FM TV would like to welcome the following towns to Top Star Channel 19. Indola, Kitwe, Luansha, Mufalera. Kalulushi, Chengola, Chililabombwe, Kapiri Mposhi, Kabwe, Lusaka, Kafue, Choma, Mazabuka, Livingston, Chipata, Chinsali, 
Kasama, Mansa, Sulwezi, and Mongu. Feel free to interact with us and let us know where you are watching from. Only on your Top Star Decoders Channel 91, Sun FM TV, Radio Gone Rogue, Radio Gone TV. This continues. You can call us on 0212-617140. And we'll now officially pick up our first phone call. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Who are we talking to? You are talking to Mr. Don Biz 122 from Chingora. Go ahead. In our tour of the media, she not to forward in the Shania, Idia Musevo. Okova in the Shania in the Kuamako. A party of Musevo to Aguato at the Dikoro, you are Pitamukongo, Kuyakura Pura. No Musevo Kuena. One when you don't government, you can't get a lot of money. 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 Views and the news continues. Hello, good Hello. afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Who are we talking to? You are talking to Mr. John from Jilagomba. Okay, uh, go ahead. Now, I know we know the last end of the in Russia, we are in Lama Roja, we are in Russia, and Pamela, and we are in Tokumo, and we are in Tokumo, and we are in Tokumo, kona fumani kuru wapula na ngunjika la muna mchiri la wombo ibaji na fuma kuru wapula ya na alole shoku fuma luru wapula kashikishi ukuyasi kakulu nchinda kwa rupia roji na kuchie nge konse kuda tayaba wino sana baji na mwonsho mtule landa mula fuwai kwa government ukuloleke shapu kwa mba kashikishi ukuyasi kakulu nchinda so na lambwe chomba konse kuda wafuire government ya loleke shapu kuma roji feyonse ya mzambia Ilio vahika la pane ono kumo ono kwa chwe shetu ala titashani pa kwa tofu ili shaweka la chalo Luapula kula fume fintu fingi sana Kula fuma sote zi, kwa fuma bini zi, kwa fuma rice, kwa fuma mbalala, kwa fuma na tute But government ta ilo lekeshe hako na ukwisa lekeshe fwe wala sa wapite paka kusafika na mpeji kwa kumufurina So nga walelo lekeshe hako wewa chukule fume mpie shingi ni ukuna kwena kwari wabantu wafuna kulo lekeshe hako then it won't forward given you in the Valerando Quevachi, PF Wing, that stuff you manage to control the Pamela and watching my area where they are. Otherwise, PF, you have a chance to control the Kumono Quevachi, which you are controller. Bale controller and everything to the Mono Quevach, Bari Shava Kuref, Patala, Mandava Police, and Mr. Shimo Shimo, Nangutavale Katakumokum, Nomba, who would take over the Po? Who will now win a war like a Shako, which you are opposition, you are a complainer, Muria Shia Kaya Kalala. But you have to go to the foot in the one year, you have to go to the one year. You have to go to the government, you have to go to the government. 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 You have to go to the Thank you very much uh, for coming through right there. The number to call is 0212-617-140. Let's go to our next caller. Hello, good afternoon. Madam Bridget, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Your name and where you're calling from? We are talking to K. Mwananfum, Pecha Charo, Mr. National Asset. Big, we know him that one. We know, we know National Asset. Go ahead. M. Kwai, how is your land of a given living? Chachin, if you don't have a young people, and I'm arriving on one of my opposition, I'm going to take advantage. Malaiki, good shedding, Mamon. Fintuna Siruba and Gilfiniba shown Timbu Vachrando Kova Cho Ba Naba Sen Ba Wamboy and Wamboy that I should go with. 
Eh, ba president wa ringi wa spera direction yuko wa chuo seni ni juice six hours. Kwa liwa man, kwa liwa management ya kuzisiko kulia kwa liwa wa ringi spera direction. Namba tunga baranda kwa chuo ba president baranda seni juice six hours. Which means kuto baranda kwa ba chikanchi seni juice two hours. Kanchi ife wili namba six hours. Pari njuu kesho baadhi pangap. Pamo na because na na kesho ba chuo mensh na ya pamo kariba tamu ya mensh. There is no way to get a direction you go back to six hours. So, if you want to get a direction, you can't go back to six hours. You can't go two hours. You can't get a good job. I mean, I'm sharing a young game of this quite change the choose. You can't get a full hour. 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 You can't Tetsuntu,ina It hasn't, the hours have not been reduced but have been split into two. Still 12 hours, but six hours done separately. Right, um, thank you for the correction, Bridget. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Alan. I'm okay. Who's on the line? The voice of the voice is on the line. Go ahead. Yeah. I saw the correction of the hours. It's six hours. The body. And the reason why in the Mukuchi Monakwan and understanding and the value of the Paris for hours, but yeah, now I have some right for two hours. Later, six hours, yeah, then after six hours, someone can do one or two things. Then later on, put here. It's like, but you will never get up there two hours on my head. You measure, yeah, for sure, at least. They can help on one or another, but the challenge is still there. Uh, we still have a challenge. Yeah, but the cheating is there, and uh, they need to fight hard. No, come on, but I'm sure uh, they, are, they are not just stupid. Uh, they are doing one or two things. Just come on, but you watch the capture. Then we have another event with the coach. Not participating, and we have to take over the point. Other things. I think uh, I always say in democracy, we need to have uh, a democracy. We need to have 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 a democracy. And this opposition party should be very strong and giving proper checks and balances. But the, the unfortunate part is that most of the oppositions that we have, they have taken the word instead of opposition. They just oppose what is good and what is bad. Let them take what is good to be good, what is bad to be bad, and so that they give a direction. And at the same time, uh, they can do well uh, if they continue uh, uh, giving proper checks and balances. I think they have neglected this road. We economic road, even Mufrida road. But if one of the time, you buy it, it's Panga, it's in the government, that's your people. Because this is an economic road. So what? So I put it on the I'm not a local catch. From coming to the Copa Bell, a part of the world. I think they need to work right, hard. Um, and, Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Suwa. 0212-617-140 is the number you're calling us on. Views on the news. Hello, good afternoon. We know what is going on.
0212-617140. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Pika Unotoria Sofinomino. Yes, uh, who are we having on the line? Justin Chelsea from Kitty, my brother. Okay, Justin, go ahead. Good afternoon, Justin. Yeah, I think he I think he is a man. I think he is Thank you very much, uh, Justin uh, Chelsea, coming through from Kitray 0212617140. It's 1627, three minutes to the clock, and uh, let's see if we can pick up the next call. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, my bomba, Shani. To a bomba, Fibu, no mkwaish, na neko bade tu mina? Amani babu, wale pa market, paka wama. All right, go ahead. And therefore, and then the plan is that we are going to the standard. We are going to calibrate the ammo. We are going to calibrate the ammo for the period. We are going to figure out the direction of the bat. The tourists are not sure. Not to monitor the banana is coming. So, we are going to solution. We are going to be able to make it. We are going to have a standard. 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 We are Thank you very much. I think uh, we can squeeze in one last call. 0212-617-140 is the number you're calling us on. Good afternoon. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, in the end of the road shed in. Mamona, previous government, didn't buy the shed din. Why you pin the other in the Kaveka, even why you pin the Magamaka provided by using the Mangan. So you put the word of the people that just doing nothing. If I'm got twice some power, twice some power, you pin, you want to make sure that I mentioned that to the Munzan, the young son, that was what I mean, Shabaku, Moku, who is so called, or what I mean, Shabaku, thousand provinces of Pisoko. To came many four or the wishing I should have a pun that took in Shaman Shuka Punam Kariba. So, the reform of President, the reservoir guy named because I'm a video that Opoya, Bama, or the Opoya, I don't so far, and she's a popular one. What is it? 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 What is all right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And that's our last call for today. Uh, thank you for keeping us company and uh, joining us on the call line 0212617140. You do the same tomorrow about the same time. My name is Alan Mwale. And my name is Bridget Kapopo. Drive Show. Drive Time. Nature, at times, can seem cruel and unforgiving. 
Little do we know that she's preparing something wonderful.